what is wrong with me hi guys welcome back to my channel it's me jay if you're new here i am an aspiring lifestyle content creator and vlogger um if you're a returning viewer slash subscriber thank you so much for tuning back in again i really do appreciate it so much um as always please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video with your friends it really does make such a huge difference and i do appreciate it uh so let's just go ahead and get right into it this is a kind of like valentine's themed makeup i would say tutorial because i'm a makeup artist girl i just be doing whatever and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't this is just a you know makeup look that i would do if i had Valentine's Day plans, girl. If I have Valentine's Day plans, this is probably what I would do to my face. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved the eyeshadow look, go ahead and keep on watching. I'm gonna start with my um, skincare because I actually just took a shower. I thought, you know what, it'd be cool to kind of just like talk while I do my little skincare or whatever. And before it drags, so, drags someone, before someone drags me for it, yes, my nail is very broken. It's a very ugly girl. I already know so let's go ahead and get right into it okay so like I said I just took a shower I just washed my face the face wash that I use is the PCA skin um, facial wash because I have oily skin I can't use anything that's like too creamy because I think that from what I read I don't remember where I read it it's not good for your skin you still have to wash your face and hydrate it but not with something that's too creamy um, so that's the face wash that I use in the mornings. At night, obviously, I then oil cleanse and I use the fresh facial oil. I'll leave the links to everything that I'm talking about in the description box below in case you are interested, girl. Um, but step one, whilst my face is still moist, I go in with this uh, hydrating toner by PCA Skin. 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend. Um, but whilst I'm doing this, um, what are you guys' plans for Valentine's Day? Like, what are you guys going to be getting into? Are you going out for dinner with your little boo? Or are you just hanging out with your friends? Or are you being like me and just staying at home and minding your business? Like, what do you guys got going on? You know, what's going on? Where are you? really if you want it if you're comfortable sharing that information but if you have plans what are you gonna wear okay girl um if you guys are doing gift exchange what are you guys getting for each other because it's tough out here sis you know you always want to get the person that you like you want to get them a gift it doesn't have to be valentine's day but it's extra nice when it is valentine's day you know what i mean um and then next step i take the black tea and kombucha facial treatment essence by fresh it looks like let me i'm gonna do <laughs> the hand thing i don't know if it's gonna focus it's not but i'll leave the link in the description box but i'm gonna take that and i do like three layers of this so i just go bah, 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 and then kind of just swipe it across my face i've been having the worst breakout known to man and I honestly can't even tell you why. Like, I just don't even know. It could be that since I'm using new products, my skin is purging because it's not like um, like a breakout in the sense of like, oh, you know, I have white heads or black heads or anything like that. But it's more like, um, like just bumps. Like, I have some here, I have some on my cheeks, and I'm just like, go away. Nobody wants you here. She just be cramped in my style and whatever. But yeah, just and then this is layer two, so same thing. Just bop, 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 bop. And then swoosh, swoosh. Oh my god, let me tell you guys about the stuff I've been watching on Netflix lately. So I just finished, I binge watched it. <laughs> Girl, sad, I know. But I binge watched that new, I don't know if you guys saw it. It's called Luna Nera. It's like about some girl who discovers she's a witch blah blah blah, blah. it's like so i think in like the 18th century or something like that it was really good it is in italian so if you're not a strong reader or into reading subtitles this is not the show for you yes you can change the audio to be in english but it's just weird when it's in english like it's just weird um and then last night i watched kiki's delivery service that was like super cute um, a show I'm always going on about to anyone who knows me is this show that's called The Alienist. 
I've told every single person who knows me to watch that show because it is so good. Um, and if you have it, Hannibal is another really good one. I know it's not on Netflix USA because I only discovered it when I moved here. So when I went back home, it wasn't there. I was like super upset. Um, but yeah, that's all. As far as school, obviously, oh, before I do this, I'm going in with the Indy Lee um, COQ10 and this is like their lotion. It's like a toner type thing. It's like to rebalance your skin, prime it. I use it to just like reintroduce moisture into my skin before I go in with each layer of product because I don't want my skin to just be dry. Do you know what I mean? So we're just gonna... <coughs> I got some in my mouth. Ooh, but it smells so good though. And it, it doesn't taste too bad. No. Well, this is the 2% BHA lotion from Paula's Choice. 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend if you are dealing with like texture issues. And then I go in with the Paula's Choice Antioxidant Pore Purifier. Again, I don't know if I should be layering these products, but mm, it seems to be working for me so far, girl. Then, girl, it is never ending. Also, don't do what I'm doing. I just realized I haven't been putting products on my neck this entire time. Don't do that. Don't neglect your neck because you could have great skin on your face, but your neck gonna expose you. So, also, if I keep looking down, it's because I have a mirror in front of me and I'm trying to see uh, what I'm doing. But yeah, now I'm just going in with the, um, I think it's Cos RX. Hyaluronic Acid, Hydro Power Essence, obviously Hyaluronic Acid, Moisture, Blase Blase Blah, you know the drill. And then this is the moisturizer that I use in the mornings. It is the PCA Skin Rebalance. Absolutely love it. And then for my sunscreen, I use the PCA Skin Hydrator Plus Broad Spectrum SPF. Because as you all know, girl, you should put on SPF every morning, chat. Bessie. <laughs> obviously, we're gonna be talking about Valentine's Day related stuff. So in honor of Valentine's Day, I'm gonna talk about all the madness that I always see these, mm, I won't even call them men, these boys talking about on Twitter, child. And I'm just like, Twitter is not the way you people are navigating in real life. It cannot be because if it is, how are you in relationships? Like, what in the hell? But you know how there's a certain portion of Twitter that loves to be like, oh my God. Valentine's Day is a capitalist holiday and I will be celebrating that by spending my money on unnecessary gifts And I'm just like, okay, I get that obviously you shouldn't wait until Valentine's Day to celebrate the person that you're with. I'm 100% behind that motion. However, there is nothing wrong with getting your significant other something on Valentine's Day. Like, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. There really isn't. It's one thing if they actually don't want a gift from you. That's one thing. But like you saying, oh, no, I'm not going to get you a gift because, you know, it's a capitalist man-made holiday. Because there is nothing wrong. If you want a gift for Valentine's Day, you want a gift for Valentine's Day. There is nothing wrong with you for wanting that. Like there's literally nothing wrong. Like, okay, so what? So what if it's a man-made holiday? I want a gift still. Because the same news about, well, you don't have to wait until Valentine's Day. They don't even be getting their goals anything anyways. So it's like, what are you even saying right now? So it's like the most redonkulous thing. Oh, by the way, I'm just like carving out my eyebrows and I use like my foundation, which is the Lancome Taint. Idol, Idol Girl Outro Wear, and I am in the shade 13.2. I am using the Morphe 35 oh, or 350M, I think is what it's called. It's the one that just looks like that. I don't know what the names of the colors are because I don't know why they wouldn't just write them underneath, but whatever but i'm just using this palette this is I'm trying to hold this properly this is a color that i use just like on my entire lid i don't know why i do that but it just seems to make the things you know make a lot of sense i guess would be uh, the girls call it your base color but what the hell do i know 
Um, <clears throat> so one thing that made me laugh this past week was Nella asked, if you don't know her, Nella Rose. She's like a really big YouTuber here. Um, and she asked on Twitter, guys, what's the pettiest thing that's turned you off a guy? <clears throat> and some of these responses had me like weeping, bro. Like I was literally crying in my apartment. I, the one that I submitted was that he liked me too much too fast. And I feel like every girl knows exactly what I'm talking about when I say that. Cause like, you know how you can meet a guy today and he's already oh babe this darling that sweetie that and it's just like we, like you're just being weird or like by the third day they're confessing their feelings for you and it's like you just met me three days ago we don't talk often enough we've had maybe four or five conversations and already you're talking about some oh i really like you and it's always like in the creepiest way that they say this but yeah that's like i don't even feel like that's a petty thing but I was like, you're doing entirely just too much for me right now. Like, ooh, you're doing too much. Right now, I'm using Jackie Anna's palette and I'm going in with the color Edges, something I don't have. <laughs> I'm going in with the color Edges, just like, I just honestly, there is no method to my madness. I just do whatever and just honestly, just pray for the best. So I just go in with that. And then I'm gonna take the color Ginger as well and just like, do whatever. I, I don't even know how else to put it like I just do whatever and then somehow sometimes it comes out you know looking Gucci and I'll be happy but yeah dude dating is so difficult like that thing is like hard like it's really a lot harder than you would think um but I'm gonna try this new eyeshadow palette that I just got it is the Morphe 3503 Fierce by Nature palette to start with I Ooh, I kind of have an idea, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, I think we'll go in with, cause I wanna do something that's like really pink cause I never do like super in your face pink. So I think we're gonna use like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven colors. I don't have the eyelid space for that, but it's gonna make sense, I think. I hope. Actually, we'll just go one, two, three, and four, because I still need depth in there. But we're gonna start with this. It is the color In Command, and it is this, it's like this shimmery kind of purplish pinkish color. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I feel like I'm not, but I'm just like putting this over my entire lid and I'm just like trying to blend it out I'm like hoping for the best right now we're gonna go in with this bright pink right here girl this could be a disaster actually before I do that I'm gonna go in with this like brownish pinky color here just to add some something I don't know it could do something it may not I don't know girl so the one that I just added is the color ignition I'm gonna go in with that hot pink and it is the color unstoppable let's see if this makes sense on my eyelid it may not I'm just gonna go I'm trying to blend it out as much as possible so there aren't like any harsh lines and then I'm gonna go in with that brown again that ignition and just like try and blend out the edges as well and I'm gonna take the leftover foundation that I have if I can find the brush I'm looking for leftover foundation that I have from doing my brows and I'm just gonna like carve a cute little like almost like a cut increase
now that it's dried, I'm going in with the color Red Alert and I'm just like packing that onto the place where I put like my foundation and hoping that it's gonna go boom on my face. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do something that's like a shimmery, iridescent kind of color. And I know Jackie and I have something that I can use. Ooh, I think I'm gonna use Wigglies and Pinker mixed in together. Okay, okay, okay. I just need to get a different brush. And then we'll be, I'm gonna use this, just this fluffy thing. Okay, wish me luck, ladies. Like some concealer and put it along the outline and then put gold over it right super extra i've never done anything like this wish me the best of luck and i'm gonna go in with the color it is right now it's between make believe i think it is and Stun Wild. I'm gonna say this is Make Believe, this is Stun Wild. So I'm going in with Stun Wild. Oh, that's kind of cute. Really not my style, but I really like it. Huh, look at me trying new things. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. I really like it. It's very different. It's not something I would ordinarily do on myself, but you know, stepping out of your comfort zone or whatever. So the color I'm actually gonna take is, I love doing this, but it's from Jackie Anna's palette. And I'm going to take the color Credit and I'm going to put that like, as a skinny brush. I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line. Use the color um, Pinker mixed with Supreme from Jackie Anna's palette. That those two usually look really good on me. There we go. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna go on. You guys have seen me do this multiple times. I'm gonna go on and do my lashes, then my foundation, and I'll come back when it's time to do the lipstick okay so i'm back and i finished all my skin so i put on my foundation i did my highlight i did my contour and then i did like the shimmer highlight situation and it looks good so far so i'm trying to figure out what i want to do for lips i'm tempted to do a red lip because i think that would look so cute so we're going to try that first if it doesn't work i'll just wipe it off it's not that big of a deal okay we're going to start with ruby Woo and see how that goes i don't know i don't like that I really don't like that. I don't like that. I don't know like, I don't know if it looks good and just cause I'm not used to it, it looks weird to me, but I'm not vibing with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Okay, so I took it off and I put some chapstick on, but I'm just gonna go back in with that chestnut liner cause I really like the chestnut on there. Okay. And then we're gonna do my favorite lip combination lip gloss combination right now so the first is this stella lip gloss it's in the color payday and it's this super bright pink stuff but i never put on like all over because that just looks crazy to me so i'm just gonna and then i'm also gonna go in with this nars it is in the color Sexy time, it is their brilliant lip gloss. And then last but certainly not least is my favorite lip gloss of all time. It is this crystal gloss. I got this from the, from the beauty supply store for like a dollar. The Ruby, the brand is Ruby Kisses Crystal Gloss and it is in the color Dashing Diva. Not this. 
that makes so much more sense. Okay, so this is the finished look. I think I did a decent job, not too bad. And I would definitely wear this out. Now that I know I can do it, I'm gonna be doing it again in different colors. Let me know if you guys like this. How would you tweak it to suit yourself? Or would you just do copy and paste? Let me know in the comments below. I really do appreciate it. And as usual, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends, girl. You know what I mean? If you have a little Valentine's Day date coming up next week Friday, maybe you could do this. If you do, take a picture and tag me. I'm literally begging. But thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one.